I'm here with our fantasy football expert, Steve Gardner, talking about who to pick up on the waiver wire. First up, who on Houston do you like? Well, I like Deshaun Watson this week. If you're looking for a quarterback to plug in, Deshaun Watson went into New England against the Bill Belichick defense and came out smelling pretty good. Over 300 yards passing, a couple of touchdowns. He looks like he could be a very good flex play or a pickup for you this week against the number 27 Tennessee Titans defense. And I also like, on the tight end side of things, good old Ryan Griffin. Caught a touchdown pass from Deshaun Watson. He missed week two with a concussion, but he's back into the mix and definitely a red zone threat. The running back position for the waiver wires, I've looked. It's pretty thin. Yeah, not so good this week. Um, if you're going to pick somebody up, I guess Darren Sproles' injury was the big fantasy development this week. Wendell Smallwood of the Philadelphia Eagles, probably going to get a lot more work in the running game, but he's certainly nowhere close to the kind of pass catcher that Darren Sproles was. So, yeah, you can pick him up if you have a spot to fill, but I wouldn't expect a ton from Wendell Smallwood. A little more robust position at the wide receiver spot. Who do you like on the waiver wire? Well, Taylor Gabriel of the Atlanta Falcons is one of those guys. The, the Falcons offense is good enough that it can support a third wide receiver. He had a big play. He can get you those kinds of big plays, so possibly a flex play this week. And also, I like Sterling Shepard of the New York Giants. Yes, the Giants offense looked horrible for the first 11 quarters of the season, but they were great in that fourth quarter on Sunday. And uh, Shepard is a guy that if Odell Beckham is back and healthy, he's going to take a lot of the defense away. I think Shepard can get some more of those kinds of touchdown passes that he got uh, in week three. What would be some players that you would stay away from on the waiver wire? Well, I think this week the number one uh, breakout star was Mercedes Lewis of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Tight end, we all know about the depth. It's pretty thin at tight end, and Mercedes Lewis gets three touchdown passes, but cool the Jets a little bit on him. He had no catches for the first two weeks, and all of a sudden he blows up. I think we're going to see more of the first two weeks than we are of week three with him. Already feeling smarter. Thank you so much to Steve Gardner, and thank you for watching Sports Pulse, your heartbeat to what is trending in sports.